Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding Ninjas and today we are going to talk about how can you ace your coding skills. This is a very important topic since you guys must be having your internship test as well as your placement test coming really soon. So this is the high time to study. So we are going to talk about how can you ace skills in three ways. I am Naman and I am a software engineer at Microsoft. Let's start. So the first point that is going to ace your coding skills is the type of problems that you choose. That means what kind of problem set that you attempt. So you've got multiple websites where you can go and check out questions. So you have Code Studio, you have multiple websites. You guys can just go on and start doing problem topic wise. Topic wise only when you have any particular topic which is weak. So let's say you are weak in dynamic programming. So let's take two or three days to solve problems of dynamic programming and solve at least 20, 30 problems in the weakest topic of yours. So this is how you should prepare topic wise. But when you think that you're okay in every topic, you should do problems randomly. Although it doesn't matter that you uh, should you uh, practice randomly or topic wise, but again, random makes you more confident because you don't know what kind of tags are there in the question. So I would suggest do topic wise for the questions for the topics that you don't know. And when you know everything, start attempting randomly. Plus, one more thing, let's say you're at a particular level, let's say you're at 1500 on any particular competitive programming platform. Try to attempt and practice those questions which are plus 100 or plus 200 year level. Why? Because there was a point in my time when I was doing competitive programming. So I took a competitive programming course from Coding Ninjas itself and I used to practice it at Code Forces. So 1500 or whatever your level is, plus 200 is going to make you more confident in such places where you are going to see a lot of complicated questions. So this is how you should go about it. So I think problem set is not much of a big deal. But the more important point here is how you're going to practice. So hence the second point, coding contest. And I'm sure you guys don't do it. It is with everyone. And uh, on a scale of 100, I, I think only 5 to 10% student actually go for contests. And this is the very big problem with the society and you kids as well. So when it comes to student, they're lagging, they, they are bad at timely practice. Let's assume you're in an interview and you have been given a question. Let's say you have to do palindrome partitioning and you have been given 20 minutes. You won't be able to do, right? Because it is a hard question or it is a mediocre level question, but the time frame restricts you to do so. But if I say you, hey, you can take a whole day, you can take a whole night, solve me this question. You're going to be able to do. Why? Because you're actually relieved out in the second case, but in the first case, you're very tense. You have limited time period. So even in when you know things, you're not able to solve. So that is the biggest problem with us. So for this contest is the best approach. So for this, what I used to do is at my times of preparation, I used two things. I never skipped a live contest. For live contests, you guys can go to Core Studio. You have multiple weekend contests going on there. We also have a live series in which I explain solutions to those questions every Sunday, 7 p.m. Uh, we have been doing this from weekend contest number 51. Apart from that, you've got huge number of websites, whether it be Spodge and many more. So you guys can go and check out clist.by. You're going to see all the contests happening across the web. There are many competitions happening around the globe. Please participate in them. You're going to get more confidence from it because you will get your actual ranking. Second way of practicing coding contest is virtual contest. A lot of websites offer virtual practice. In virtual practice, what happens is the whole live contest environment is iterated in a virtual manner. So you're going to see people submitting the solutions, but it is not happening in the actual second. It is not actually happening in the actual moment. So this is going to give you more good environment and you can do it every day. Whenever you get a chance to do long contest, please do that. This is going to upskill yourself. Short contest is going to help you in the timing issue. So this is how contest is going to help you everywhere. Let's come to the third point now. When we give a contest, there are two things that happens. Either we are not able to solve some problems or we miss out some problems. All right. In both the cases, every time we should always solve the problem that were not solved during the contest. And this is the third point of solving that we miss it. Upsolving is very helpful guys. You should always do it because there can be some things that you don't know and because of upsolving you can check them and you can learn those new things. 
This might come in any of your interviews, this might come in any of your online assessment, which is very crucial and important. So don't miss out on absolving. This is like a lifesaver. Always do all the problems that you are not able to solve. This is the best attitude which can make you crack any kind of interview in any favorite company of yours. So all the three things we have already demystified. Uh, the problem statements, the problem set that you should always do, the contest. Contest gives you that timely preparation and it helps you in setting as well as well as up solving. Don't let you miss out any important thing. So combination of these three is going to ace your coding skills to the highest level and this is how you're going to be good at coding. You have got this CN set examination just through you can get up to 100% scholarship. So if you want any course, a bit discount chahiye, to please description box mein jake, link pe click karo and give the contest to get huge rewards. Thank you guys and happy learning. Uh, please subscribe. Karna Thank you.